It all comes down to the knife. One of the Baltimore police officers charged in the death of Freddie Gray now insisting the arrest was legal, saying Gray was carrying an illegal knife, but the prosecutor says otherwise. Fox and Friends Weekend co-host Anna Coyman joins us now with the legal battle. Anna? Good morning, Heather. Good morning to all of you at home. It could be the smoking knife in the Freddie Gray case. One of the Baltimore police officers charged in his death now insisting the arrest was legal. Officer Edward Nero is demanding the police department and the prosecutor produce the knife that was the reason behind the arrest. The officers say it was illegal, but last week prosecutor Marilyn Mosby claimed the knife was perfectly legal. Officers Miller and Nero then placed Mr. Gray in a seated position and subsequently found a knife clipped to the inside of his pants pocket. The blade of the knife was folded into the handle. The knife was not a switchblade and is lawful under Maryland law. Lieutenant Rice, Officer Miller, and Officer Nero illegally arrested Mr. Gray. An attorney not affiliated with the case says since Nero's charges stem from false imprisonment, they can only be proven if Gray was wrongly arrested. A judge will now have to decide if the state attorney will turn over the knife. Meanwhile, America's top cop taking her first trip as Attorney General Loretta Lynch in Baltimore to meet with the family of Freddie Gray and city officials. Lynch praised the police and says she is committed to helping Baltimore. All of the information we've gathered over the last several weeks and today has been extremely helpful to us as we try and come up with solutions, real solutions for the city of Baltimore to improve this city. That is our goal. That is our commitment. It is my commitment as attorney general on behalf of the Department of Justice. Well, in addition to the city's investigation, Lynch has also ordered a separate federal probe into Freddie Gray's death. Heather, back to you. Thank you very much, Anna.